Good morning. Welcome to Connecticut's Morning Buzz. I'm Melissa Taglia. And I'm Natasha Lubchenko. We begin with breaking news out of Windsor Locks this morning. Firefighters on the scene of a chemical fire at the FedEx shipping plant. And that is where we find News 8's Ken Houston standing by with details. Hi, Ken. Good morning. Good morning. We've been pushed back from the scene out here, which is a good reason why, because this remains under investigation at this hour. We shot this video once we arrived out here on scene this morning. Multiple fire and police crews, as you can see, arriving to assist the Windsor Locks Fire Department if needed. The call came in just after 7.30 this morning. A few minutes ago, I talked with Windsor Locks Police, and they're confirming that the fire started in a FedEx tractor trailer truck containing about 5,000 pounds of two different chemicals. Right now, hazmat crews are on scene investigating. Approximately 7.30 this morning, Windsor Locks Police and Fire get a call of a uh, potential hazmat situation developing here at the FedEx plant. Upon arrival, uh, they were informed that a tractor trailer was leaking some type of corrosive material. I couldn't, I couldn't actually say the chemical reaction, what did what, um, if one ignited something else or somehow made it more volatile by the mix. Meanwhile, the FedEx Shipping Center is located in a business park where employees have been asked to evacuate this morning. We also have a traffic advisory to pass on to you. Motorists are being asked to avoid Old Country Road, which leads to Old Country Circle, which is the site of the FedEx Shipping Center. And of course, that road will be closed for several hours, we're being told. Now, so far, there are no reports of any injuries, which is definitely good news. The Hazmat crews remains out here on the scene in order to uh, continue their investigation and get this mess all cleaned up. Of course, News 8 will stay on top of this story throughout the day and bring you another report coming up at noon today. And as well, you'll find out more information online. We're live this morning in Windsor Locks. I'm Ken Houston. Now back to you there in the studio. Okay. Ken, thank you for that update.